just got to shave a bit, plane a little bit off the side here so that the roof fits snug into the top of the house. Um, but we're nearly there. Okay, so I've got the roof line even. I had to plane some off this edge to get it to sit in there. And I also, I've had to put a wooden chalk in there, which is a piece of wood that I've cut to fit to act as a packer. But I will age all that down. And it just means that the roof sits in there better. Nice and neat and nice and firm. Now, I'm, these are the chimneys. I'm gonna have to give them a little bit of a, a glue and clamp because they are a little wobbly, as you can see on that one. I need to glue that and clamp it. But overall, it's looking pretty solid. I then have got this little mystery. I'm not quite sure what these are. I think these are, I think that's the door for the whole cupboard, believe it or not. All right, on with you go. Okay, roof is all glued up and clamped. We're gonna leave all that to dry now. This is the hallway door. And it's a bit of a puzzle because this piece here, can't, this, this is all broken. This is part of the door frame and I'm pretty sure that goes there. The way the door, I want the door to open out and at the moment it's been, someone's glued it up so that the door doesn't really even open at all. And it has another strut, sorry I'm trying to do this with one hand, um, it has another strut which goes in here, like that right? But the hinges are on the wrong side. Okay, so what I'm going to do, the hinges were originally on here, right? Um, and it meant that the door was like that and it kind of opened inwards. It didn't really open properly because it had been glued up. So what I'm going to do is I am going to change the position of the hinges from here. And I have cut, I'm going to cut slots here and here. And I'm going to put the hinges on the door like that. And what that will mean will mean that the door can, in theory, like that, the door will be able to open out. Because I want to be able to open the cupboard outwards. So I'm in the process of. I've already cut slots here and here. I've got a very, very sharp scalpel. And I'm just going to carefully, without cutting myself, cut that groove. So this is a new piece here. And I am going to nail that to that piece there and then basically screw these hinges into that and then hopefully the door will open out and we will have some sort of door frame uh, which is functioning. Okay so it's a new day in the workshop and as you can see it's chaos. I've made a mess and Badger's walking in. Hello, Badger. What are you doing? Come on, uh, Right, so everything is dried. All the work I did yesterday is all dried and glued and nailed and clamped. Oh, Badger. Good morning. Um, so, what I'm going to start working on is I want to put electrics in it into the house. So I'm, I've started to router out the floor. And what, what's that for? That's how you can run the electrical cable in for the lighting downstairs. So I've done it on one room. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to like router it out in one room, 
put some paneling in. I've taken the fireplace off. I'm going to make a half for it. And I'm going to attempt to put the skirting boards in. And I'm going to see what it looks like. And then I'm going to move on and try and put the skirting boards on everything else. Now the skirting boards, the original skirting boards are very thick. And what I want to do is I want to plane them with my little plane. And I'm going to make them a little thinner. So they're not so fat against the wall because they're going to have paneling as well. And by the time you get furniture against the wall, um, it won't sit properly. But I do want to keep the skirting boards because they are original to the house. But I'm going to plane them. Okay, so it's chaos in the studio, but... We are gluing down skirting boards, which I have planed. There's quite a few of them, so I'm just going to film one or two. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six rooms um, to do. I'm using plenty of glue. The, the reason, the reason why I'm putting well, wood. The reason why I'm putting these back in is because they're actually um, part of the structural supports as well because they support the floors. So I'm going to try and turn the GoPro, try and turn the camera. So that one fits in there. I've taken the fireplace out so I can put this in. And as you can see, they actually, they help brace the floor as well. So I'm going to go ahead and the camera and tap that in. Okay, and as you can see in this room as well, I have routed out the floor. I did it with one of my great uncle's old chisels. Uh, John Middleditch. John Middleditch's chisel. Uh, right, so I have routed that out, and that is for the lighting for downstairs. So I will run electrical cables through that, drop the cables through there, and then pop the floor over the top so to hide it. And it means that underneath, in the room down here, we can we can hang a light. Right. I'm gonna do this one next. Things have been clamped and glued and drying overnight. Here we go, look, these are all done. These can come off, look at that. These are cut and shaped. These ones are done. And down here, this wall has a little bow, a bit of a bow in it, so I had to clamp the skirting board there to get it to dry. Okay, so all of this has dried overnight. And what I'm trying to do here is I'm making a partition wall to go inside one of the rooms and I have cut a piece of wood and fretted out an archway and I have glued this other piece onto here. This is to construct the moulding for an archway. Um, I've done a sort of a drawing plan, if I can focus on that. Um, of how I kind of want the archway and the panelling to be. So I'm kind of jumping ahead a bit from the rest of the construction, um, but I just kind of got this idea and I need to get this idea out of my head. So by getting on paper for a start, that's a really good way to do it. And then at least it's on paper and I can put it aside. I'll take these clamps off. I'll just pop it up here, hang on. Yeah. Take these clamps off. So what I'm doing here is I'm just cutting grooves in some lime wood to make pillars. And the pillars are going to go on here like this, like that. 
got to cut that bit out. So that we, I'll just turn this around. So that we end up with an archway. Okay, so it's a new day. Everything has dried overnight and I have started to work on the interior of the upper right bedroom uh, and putting in a bathroom off the main bedroom. Started to create this bedroom and create paneling to create a separate room um, and I'll start to show you some of it. Okay, there you go. So I want to put a bathroom in the back. Now, I've, I've started putting architraving around these doors. This is the architrave which you can cut. There. I have cleaned off, um, this is this is felt pen that has been done in the past and I've cleaned a lot of it off this wall because if you don't, once you paint over it, it will bleed back through the paint. So I've had to remove that from here. So I'm just literally working on this room. Um, it's getting boards are in. These are bits of panelling which are going to go along the wall. These are pieces of a, I think they were from a 19th century parasol handle bone. What I've done is I've cut them in half. I cut it in half, spliced it that way and filed it down. And I sort of cut it up and figured out the way I want to make columns. See, so these are going to be like little columns on the fireplace. Um, I've made silver rivets. Out of pieces of silver wire and I have riveted that side on there so now I've got to rivet this side on and then once I've done that these this I think was a costume jewelry bracelet so I've cut it up and I'm going to put decorative elements on there. I just want it to look like a 19th century sort of Sicilian Sicilian fireplace. There you go. 